Hey everybody, Tyler here from Do Nope, that's not correct anymore. I'm not I'm not with them anymore. Oh wow, I don't even know how to I don't even know how to open up a channel now that I I don't have a oh man, that's gonna take some time. Anyways, let's do this. Oh so I'm actually oh, so I'm actually out here in Osaka for the new job. Um, doing the whole IT dispatch kind of thing where I go and fix other people's problems and so far I've been to Fukuoka and now Osaka and I'm done like it's like three o'clock I'm done I have to stay the night here because I have another job in uh, uh, I think Gifu somewhere and I, I, I don't know man I, I have I have time to kill so we're gonna go walk around Osaka maybe take some video and see if I can edit a YouTube video by myself oh, oh no if you're if you're wondering, I'm actually filming this on my phone because I'm too lazy to to buy a new camera after my old one broke. So until that happens, uh, yeah, this is the quality of a uh, camera you're gonna have. Haha. <laughs> if you can't tell, I've gained quite a bit of weight since the last time I've been on camera, and the camera adds 10 more pounds, so that's not helping things out at all. But anyways, we're here in a uh, Shinsaibachi, Bashi, Shinsaibashi. How do you switch the camera around? Boy, I'm gonna hurt you. Mm. Yeah, so this is like a giant shopping street with a bunch of brand name uh, shops and Really great place to just walk down and see. I mean, this plane, this thing goes on forever. Fucking Hello Kitty store. So if you're obsessed with the Hello Kitty goods, man, they got you covered here. I don't get it. I think it's like liking Domokun. I don't really understand why so many people love this character. I guess because it's cute. But it's not like any of you guys watch the show, so what? Ooh, taco yaki. Funny enough, uh, about two or three years ago, I came here on my own personal vacation and I was gonna shoot a whole video and uh, that footage never saw the light of day, I don't think. I don't think we ever actually published it, but I, during that video, I was just listening to music and watching, walking up and down this street and it's just different when you don't have music in your ears and you can kind of hear a lot of what's going on around you. No one that eats Glico snacks is that in shape, I guarantee you. You always have people around here trying to do the pose with the famous Glico guy, although it looks like they updated it, not that. It looks very new. I dig it. Probably my favorite area in all of Osaka, Dotonbori. Yeah, boys. Got a little river you can travel down, check that out. Boing. Boing. Love it. Love it, I love it, I love it. Not gonna, not gonna lie, I kinda miss Aoki. I miss having a cameraman. I miss having Josh as an editor. I don't know how to edit these things. It's gonna probably look like shit. The good news though, is I can more or less say whatever the hell I want now, which is nice. Not being tied down by a company. Oh, also got a nice uh, smoothie from the green bar. But yeah, dude, check out that. Like, come on, man. How can you not like some good old Dotone Boy? It's fantastic. I need to get used to looking at the the, the phone camera. That's, that's gonna be harder than looking at the camera lens. Yeah, weird. So this place is where all the good eats are, man. Get you some okonomiyaki, some takoyaki, some crab, some kani. It's actually way more busy than I thought it would be on a weekday. That's a lot of crabs! Looks something out of a uh, alien, like the face huggers. Actually, last time I was here, there's a haunted house in this building. I don't think there is anymore, but anyways. Ooh, it's a tabe hoda. Mm. All you can eat crab nabe for 5,000 yen. Do not touch. If you're ever craving some kushikatsu or the fried meats on stick, look for this pissed off dude. And uh, he serves up some of the best kushikatsu daruma. It's usually pretty, pretty famous in Osaka. It usually has a big line and 
dude's very, very angry. I'm so pissed off. I think he's angry because he doesn't want you to double dip in the sauce. But damn, dog. You gotta love the effort that Osaka puts into their shop fronts. Little, little robot crab, crab robot. Crab battle! Got some uh, old gone ramen, Chinese K ramen, with a giant fucking Chinese dragon. I think I actually stayed in a hostel near here, because I remember passing that drunk multiple times. See, look at these badass shop fronts. They got a little opening melon pan, a little show of hormone. So cool. Giant, giant red robot crab over there. If you haven't been able to discern this yet, this video really doesn't have any structure or planning to it because I have not done this in a while and I forgot how to make videos. So it's just me chilling in Osaka, filming shit that I think is fun and interesting. If you don't like it, this channel's dead in the water. Spider-Man really likes Kobe beef and apparently getting all up in that clam. Ooh, get it, boy. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, thick. I'm pretty sure that right there is playing Rock Lobster. Yeah, Rock Lobster. Guys, ED on. You know, like, erectile dysfunction. <laughs> uh, turn it on, boys! Talk as many times as I have. You get bored of takoyaki and okonomiyaki, so I had to try something new. I got a two kind of famous gyoza in Osaka, Osaka, Osho. Oh, it's Osho. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Maybe it's a different Osho, but anyways, this is like an Okonomiyaki gyoza, and then a spicy gyoza. I excited. Look at that bad boy. That's amazing. Also, a little carbonated beverage. Oh, hot damn, these are some of the best skills I've had. I got those items. Let me try one of those. The spicy ones. Look at the spicy ones. Oh, yeah, boy. Lunch break in Osaka. Give me some spicy gyoza. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. I found that Osaka does spicy food better than Tokyo does. It's the only place I really find good, good spicy food. It has some kick to it. Wow. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that bad boy. Ignore that. Wow, look at that bad boy. Mm. Some delicious meat wrapped around with some dumpling wrappings, some green onions on top with a spicy ass sauce on it. Oh, hot damn, dog. Hot damn. Oh my god, I'm about to destroy the rest of these bad boys. They're so good. If you come here, I highly recommend the Dotonbori gyoza because that was that was fire. And then the actual fire gyoza. Very good. Oh wow, we got some Ariana Grande playing in here. Mm. If you want one of the best Nikuman or Butaman I've ever had, go to 551 Horai! It's uh, in Shinsai Bashi, but they make some dope ass Butamans. So good. Two things. One, I realized that my worst, most hated thing ever is slow walkers that people don't understand that you have to walk on the left side of the road. And two, Gucci looks ugly. I don't understand why people like Gucci shit. It's just ugly. Like, I mean, I don't have a great sense of fashion, so who am I to judge? But yeah, that's just the two tiny tidbits for the day. Another quick realization I just had is uh, while this new phone, the 10X Max, this is not sponsored, obviously, um, is a great phone to, to do most things on. He does not like my camera. Um, oh, I think I'm shooting in 60 frames per second. That might have to do with it, but yeah, my battery's almost dead. So, gotta go find a cafe. So I've come up with a foolproof way to lose weight if you're in Osaka. You just 
run up and down Shinsaibashi, all the way down, all the way back, while dodging people. And uh, pretty sure it's like a new form of dodgeball that would just absolutely get you ripped. Jesus, this place is long. With the work day concluded, our traveler heads back to the hotel to get changed and possibly go out and have a little drinky drinky. So I gotta say, this is probably one of the fun parts about this new job is, so I sometimes have to go out and do these tickets and sometimes they last longer than it would take for me to get back home. I missed the last train. So on those cases, or if it lands on a weekend, like a Friday, and I finish up, I can just stay here um, and, uh, you know, go out and party afterwards. So it's pretty nice, pretty nice. As I head to my hotel, I'm starting to feel like I might have made a mistake because <laughs> I'm clearly walking through like, you start to notice when you live here long enough, but this is definitely like love hotels, and I sure hope mine's not a love hotel. Ah. <laughs> I actually, there's the love hotel area behind me, and I thought I was, I fucked up, but actually, check this out. That's my hotel at the top. <laughs> it's lit. It's so big. I hope I get a top, top floor room, man. Ooh, that'd be nice. I should have recommend. I should have asked for that. Like, give me the top room. Pan, I can never get used to buildings this big. It's not even that big of a building, but I'm a country boy and I'm not used to this shit. I don't even know where the entrance is. I genuinely don't know how to get the fuck in the building. Well, we'll find out. Oh yeah, you can just bump into me, you fucking piece of shit. Yo, um, so this is definitely not a love hotel. It's very nice in here. It's, uh, I'm very sweaty. Um, this is like three times bigger than any hotel I've ever stayed in in Japan. Very nice. Very nice. What's the view like? We got a view? Ooh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad view. Hot diggy damn, dog. <laughs> Yo, so um, I just found this, and I know it's more than likely, it's a very nice hotel, so it's probably just, you know, very professional. But I mean, feel Japan is, and the fact that the hours are 8 p.m. to 5 a.m., last order 4 a.m., it's a little ayashi here, man. Just a little, little, little on the ayashi. And like, oh man, let me show you the courses. Oh. Wa no motenashi therapy. Oh. Actually, this looks legit. If this isn't expensive, dude, it's like, I kind of want this done. This sounds fantastic. Oh, dude, I would kill somebody for an actual massage. Like, not like a happy anyone, like a genuine, genuine massage. Excuse me? Okay. So yeah, I'm at a little uh, yakitori kind of like that, and uh, just got me some shiro. To be honest, I can't tell you what any of these meats are in English, because I don't know. I just know the Japanese names. So. I just figured out what shido is. Apparently, it's uh, boiled large intestines. So, yummy. So, got some skune. Skune, skune. This is the jam right here, man. It's just ground up chicken on a stick. Chicken stick. That's some, that's some good shit. That's some real good shit. So I'm at this like little yakitori place. I guess that's pretty good because I had to put my name down so they could haul me whenever they were free up a seat because yeah, like it's been packed the entire time and we're in like uh, the offskirts of Damba. So with the food, look at this. Got some shiso, shiso maki, it's like uh, bacon wraps. She, 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 she so wrapped. Delicious. <coughs> I've eaten a lot of yakitori before. It's one of the best yakitori I've had over a long, well, probably ever. This stuff's freaking amazing. You can get a little, some, uh, zura, zura ka? Zura ka? Zura ka? Little, uh, quail eggs with nori on them. 
Mm. Yo, ma'am. If you're in Osaka, definitely check this place out. Plus, they're playing some Earth, Wind, and Fire, which is... I sure hope this video turns out well. It's the first time since not doing it with a company, so we'll be interested to see how it works. Freaking battle toads. I love it. Oh man. <laughs> Kirby. <laughs> Enjoying some uh, Kirby Superstar with a nice Zangi for a white piece of a white Russian on crack. <laughs> I'm here with some good Japanese friends and they're all pissing in the river. <laughs> Be humble. Hey. Here's the thing that I want to talk about when it comes to living in Japan. One of the most important things, this will probably be the wrap up of my video, even though I, I, I know my editing is going to be trash. I, I'm not an editor. You'll know this very quickly with watching the new channel because Josh, the guy that's taking over Doga TV, he was my main editor. He was the only editor besides uh, Aoki. Um, this is something that is very important to me though. Coming to Japan is a great experience. It's fantastic. You don't need Japanese to have a good time. However, if you speak Japanese, your time gets exponentially better. Um, so for example, tonight, I, I literally went up to like a group of Japanese guys that I thought would know what was going on. I was like, hey, where can I get some drinks around here? And they're like, there's a convenience around the corner. I walk into the convenience store, I'm buying drinks, they come up, and they're like, hey man, your Japanese is fantastic. Like, let's drink together. And from that point on, I started drinking with them the rest of the night. And it was a fantastic experience. Like, I just went, I just got back from the club with him. Um, I have to work tomorrow. But at the same time, like, if you come here on vacation with even the little bit, littlest of Japanese, especially in Osaka or in a non-Tokyo area, they'll lose their goddamn shit over how good your Japanese is. Dude, this is something that's been a very hard thing for me. I'm a big guy and it's hard for me to take my shirt off now because, or take my over shirt off because you can obviously see how fucking, ooh, I'm a big boy. But tonight I didn't give a shit. I just had a good time with some great people. I got some contacts. And the next time I come into Osaka, I'm probably gonna hang out with them again. And that's the important thing. And I think that's the thing that people miss when they come to Japan is they, they don't get that like insider feeling. It really comes with learning a language. Like, yeah, you can go to Japan, you can have a good time. But when you go to Japan and you... <laughs> when you go to Japan and you can actually speak the language, holy shit, dude. You're going to fucking kill it. Anyways, that's it for Tyler from... I haven't decided on a channel name, but we'll figure it out. Thank you guys for watching. Um, actually, no, I do know my name. This is Tyler with Drunk on Japan. Signing out. Thank you guys for always watching, for always supporting me. I I know these videos aren't gonna be good in the beginning because I don't know how to edit. And so if you if you like this video, like it. If you don't, fucking tell me what I need to improve on. Make me better, because I want to make good content for you guys, and I think I'm in a position I can do that now. So thank you. My hair is out of fucking control.